Mr. Chairman, esteemed committee, committee members, my name is Amanda Webster. I was convicted for possession of a stolen credit card, a class five felony. I completed all of my court ordered requirements and uh, I've had no other convictions. I almost completed my bachelor's degree in forensic psychology at ASU and I even made the dean's list. Still, I've been turned down even for volunteer positions in my field because of this felony. And as the law currently stands, there could be uh, things in place that could prevent me from get, receiving my license to practice psychology, even if I was to complete my doctorate with honors. We all make mistakes. So let me say that again, we all make mistakes. And I don't think there's a single person in this room that can say that they did not make really dumb mistakes that they really regret when they were teenagers before their prefrontal cortex was completely developed. It's our duty to learn from those mistakes and to grow as people, as individuals. Stephen C. Richards spent nine years in prison, reformed himself, and became a criminal justice professor. Larry Levine spent 10 years in prison, reformed himself, and created Wall Street prison consultants. Hackers like Kevin Mitnick, formerly on the FBI Most Wanted list, by the way, often create their own security firms or even go on to work for the FBI and CIA. Instead of limiting the potential of our citizens, shouldn't we leave it to the Board of Ethics to monitor and to revoke licensing as necessary as they do in any other situation? Isn't the goal of our justice system to give consequences that fit the crime, and once those consequences have been carried out, restrictions should no longer remain? We see this because we allow for the restoration of rights, such as the right to bear arms and the right to vote, but isn't it kind of silly to allow the possession of a firearm but not allow me to pursue a better career for myself? <laughs> Is it fair to hold me hostage with this licensing restriction when I only want to serve my community, help others, be a better person than I was then, and teach my 13-year-old son Bryston that it's never too late to correct a mistake? Please support this bill to allow people like me to obtain the licenses we worked so hard for. Thank you, and I'm open to any questions. Members, any questions for our speaker? Thank you for being here. Appreciate Thank you very it. much, Mr. Chairman.